in our video series of useful MATLAB tips today we will check how to find the intersection point of two curves f1 is a non-linear quadratic function of one variable x and f2 is a linear function of the same variable x and their plot would look something like this so this is f1 and this is f2 the intersection point is here if we manually inspect so we would find the coordinate of this intersection point is uh, approximately x is equal to minus 0.26 and y is equal to minus 1.8. Notice that the functions are defined as anonymous function. That means the variable is defined right at the beginning of these functions. To find the intersection points, we will write a third function named fun with the first function minus the second function here as at the intersection point the value of the first and the second functions are equal so first function minus second function will result to equal to be zero just by solving this function fun using the function f solve we would find x coordinate of this intersection point So the x coordinate of this intersection point is uh, minus uh, 0 0.30 and to get uh, the y coordinate we need to insert this uh, intersection x point into any of these equations so let's choose the linear equation f2 and uh, that would give the y coordinate of the intersection point to be minus 1.09 which is somewhere approximately here within f solve function we have defined an initial guess for the x coordinate of this intersection point and the guess was zero and as a result we have got uh, the x and y coordinate of the intersection point such as here but uh, let's expand this uh, plot beyond the range of minus two and two and see if we have more than one intersection point so if we evaluate that we would see beyond that point actually we have another intersection point somewhere between x value of 3 and 4 so as we have our first guess close to this intersection point because our guess was 0 so the intersection coordinate was given as the coordinate of this point but instead let's say we start our first case of this f solve function to be 3 then we should get the coordinate of this particular point which is around uh, 3.22 x coordinate and the y coordinate 8.97 so let's do that we type in 3 and yes we have got the x coordinate to be 3.30 and y coordinate to be 8.9 as we can see in this plot in case you have only one intersection point then f solve already solves your problem but um, f solve has uh, one advantage over other method for example there is another function solve that can do the same trick but f solve is very flexible instead of your initial guess to be 3 if we say the initial guess is 30 this function will still get us the second intersection point now if we define our function f1 and f2 same function as previous but this time instead of making it a anonymous function we have made it a symbolic function of variable x so the same function we can see it from the plot of course we can expand this range up to four and we can see there are two intersection points this time as uh, we are defining symbolic function we can use this uh, function solve to say that these two functions are equal and as well as uh, provide the function solve with the initial guess in my case i have defined it to be zero and uh, just by doing that solve will uh, solve these two functions and find both of the intersection points so let's see how it goes so these are the two intersection points one is these and another one this they need to be simplified so one way to simplify this x x coordinate value of uh, this intersection point and x coordinate value of this intersection point 
is uh, just take these two points and uh, do evaluation of them so now we have written x intersection is equal to evaluation of x intersection we get in a couple of uh, numbers so first intersection point is 0.3 and the next one is 3.3 and which we have already checked to be correct from here now to get the y intersection point we again need to substitute the value of x intersection point in a function f2 so if we do that subs f2 in x intersection point we will get the y coordinate of first point and the second point of intersection we can put the whole thing and do a evaluation in the same line such that it gives y coordinate of the intersection point as a couple one disadvantage of using solve is that our first case has to be a good one for example if we have our first case to be 10 uh, for uh, solving these two equations we would get uh, this, the solution actually fails and we don't get the, into any of those intersection point coordinates another disadvantage of using a sims function instead of using this anonymous function is that uh, sims function would run slower so if you have a code that runs uh, or finds these intersection points uh, thousands of time your code is uh, supposed to get uh, slower if you use this sort of symbolic function